Greetings all, Fanny here for Aquarius's weekend message. Aquarius, the first card that came out for you is the Nine of Wands. There is a sense of self-isolation for the sake of protection coming out here. And while I understand that, there is a point where self-isolation becomes self-imprisonment. Pardon me. I feel like that is part of you speaking up for yourself. And uh, that is a huge part of the self-isolation is because something that was important to you was dismissed or seen as not important. And this could be anything from your sexuality and how it is you identify or feel or the dream that you're, you're working on or the what you want to see. It's just like Every time you look at your sketchbooks, you're always reminded of how your parents said you can't be a cartoon artist when really you want to create manga. And like that huge misunderstanding and misinterpretation of what it is you want. And it, it's very defeating. Yeah, seven of eight of swords actually. It's very isolating, defeating energy is, is what I'm feeling here. I like seeing the Queen of Pentacles coming out, though, because this does give me hope for the end goal and what it is you're working for. I'm being very drawn to the rabbit over here and being reminded how skittish rabbits are, how they are constantly on the lookout for things. We have the King of Wands coming out here. I think the rabbit is rem being a reminder to you to be on the lookout because this queen is looking at her pinnacle, making sure that she's keeping hold to everything that she's worked for because it's taken a lot to get her here. And while this King of Wands, he is seeing that fire and ambition and is more of wanting to covet it than protect it in the way that the queen has. It's more of something that they want to make theirs. This is very solemn energy that I am feeling for Aquarius. Spirit, what support can you give them? The Knight of Cups came out in a sideways direction. And the Hierophant is at the bottom of the deck. So this is just how it's coming to me, and I have to say it as how it feels. This King of Wands might be a temptation or, or some, um, a lustful temptation to pull you away or to dissuade you from your energy and your stance in your Queen of Pentacles position because it has taken so much work to get to this point or... There is a lot of underlying self-confidence issues that this king will be playing into. And the Hierophant is coming out here to be a reminder to you to stand in your power, to stand in your strength, to speak your voice, to speak your truth, and to not be afraid to take up your own sword and say, like, this is my work, this is my path, and you are not going to distract me from it. You are not going to take this away from me. And, um... It's, it's very much reminding me of Bridgerton and a huge point of annoyance in the show for me is how much they stress and put the impact of women to just get married and have children. And like that is literally all that is important with your existence. And if you can't get married, you're very much looked down upon by all these people. And it's just, it's very frustrating to see. And then Colin Bridgerton is there and everything is okay. But <laughs> I digress. You have to speak up for yourself in these situations because there have been so many times where you have been silenced. Where you have been silent for the sake of not wanting to make someone angry. Sometimes we've got to make someone angry because we... Otherwise, we have to just keep accepting the same situation that we have always been in. With home coming out here, I very much feel like your sense of home and 
your home life has been very frustrating, toxic, and misunderstanding. I'm I'm keep getting drawn back to the um the LGBTQ and people not understanding your sexual preference, your sexual identity, and what it is you chose, like why you chose to be. Uh, it's, it's like it's not even a choice. It's like you didn't choose to be transgender or gay or or bi or or whatever it is. It's just who you are. But people don't understand that, and it's very frustrating. Yeah, one ring circus. You don't have to do this by yourself, and you're not doing it by yourself. You have a huge army behind you, Aquarius, every single day. And all you have to do to make them come together is ask for their help. Ask for their love, support. Ask for them to present themselves in your life. Ask for them to make themselves known in your life. And they will make themselves clear. And if you're very stubborn about it, they'll make themselves clear in a very obvious way. So be open to how spirit wants to talk to you. Because right now, you're kind of stuck. And they want to get you out of this energy. They want to get you out of this isolation that you have been placed in. They want to pull you out of this maze to lift you above it because there are people in it that are just not listening. That are just not seeing you for the amazing, beautiful person that you are. And it's very isolating. But you don't have to stay in this isolation. You don't have to stay in this feeling. You have the talisman in reverse and the compass. Your path will be different from other people. Your your life will be, is, and is inherently different from other people. So the roads that you take, the turns that you make, the path that you follow, do not compare it to anyone else's because frankly, it's it's not applicable. It's like apples and chicken wings. They literally are nowhere close to each other. So why are you comparing them? There is no grounds for one to be compared to the other because there is just too much differences between them. The only thing that you can compare yourself to, Aquarius, is the person that you were yesterday. What I want you to do right now is focus on holding in your own integrity and learning to love yourself enough to trust those feelings that come up that intuition that innate knowing that gut feeling do not doubt it because that is part of you that is spirit speaking to you and it is so very important that you trust that aquarius because it will guide you through the darkest of times letting you know what is your best next move what is the best next move what is the best next next best step it is so important that you trust yourself right now aquarius because the world is in fact falling apart and to find your new path you have to find yourself first and that's a very scary thing to do because it takes looking at a lot of painful things that we have not looked at in a very long time and that could be part of that isolation that you were doing is isolating yourself from your trauma that's great to make it not part of you, but it doesn't make it go anywhere. And it'll keep coming up until you resolve it. Have a beautiful day, Aquarius.